However, you can get Morio from Griff Patches Tutorial Starter Project, but whatever, go right in. Green flag clicked, we have some forever loops. So, we have to first have a platform. So, to draw the platform, you make a line or something. I will just make a simple line. Oops, that's not... And then, like that. That's it! And Mario, you should set his size to 200 because he's a bit tiny. So, set his size to 200, switch costume to first, and show, go to front layer. And you see he works. Also, go to zero, zero. Perfect. This sprite should also go to zero, zero. Whoops. So, now that we have him, let's create variables, camera X, for all sprites and camera Y, speed X for this sprite only, and speed Y for this sprite only, and the forever loop, we check if we are not touching Mario, I mean platform, and if it is the case, then we will change speed, oh wait, we do not want a camera Y, because guess what, this will be only left and right, so, at the platform yeah so if not touching platform then change speed y we're gonna repeat until we are so the gravity we first have to set gravity to zero obviously and change speed y by negative 1 and change y by speed y. Da, 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 da. And look, he now falls. If I drag him higher, he falls. And then just set speed y to 0. So... Next, you see he's sinking in a bit, cause yeah. So, the reason is cause we did not set zero. But here is the thing. We also have to do sprite collisions by using if. Touching platform change y by one. Now this is pretty long, so we could use duplicate and duplicate it like this and put them all into each other like this. And do it a few times to get oh, to get your here and you see Mario's shaking oh no har har I think we could resolve this by using a custom block of spam and okay dun 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 and here and next he's still shaking so next instead of having him shaking 
it's pretty annoying. So actually just get rid of it, which is pretty fun. Haha, <laughs> okay. Next, we have another green flag click, another forever loop. If the up arrow is pressed, speed Y. So gravity is when you jump, you have lots of energy go up, and as you go up, you lose energy and fall back down. So we will set speed Y to 12, a great speed, and the way we do it is we will change, we will repeat until the up arrow pressed is not true. There are two ways to do it. One is not easier, but you could also do if key up arrow has equals and it will just be weird yeah so change y by speed y S oh yes and change Speed Y by negative 0 0.5. Oh gosh, what is happening with Mario? So, instead we could solve this by just a repeat 10. Except he still does that. And then you make a variable called jump. For this sprite only set jump to 1 and then set jump to 0 in green flag click set jump to 0 and only if jump equals 0 mm -hmm. okay then Look, he can now jump, but he can jump a bit high. Jumping once looks a bit unnatural, so try changing this more. Yeah, that's realistic. So you see he sink in the ground a bit. So... At the start, you see he land perfectly on the ground, but you jump some and realize he sinks. So the reason is because we need to push him back off the ground. So then repeat until touching platform. And then after that, we check if we are touching the platform. We are touching the platform. Repeat until we're not touching the platform. And just change Y by 1. Look. Perfect. And then just change Y by negative 1. Now you see he works great, like awesome. Now you could duplicate the, the green flag script. Oh yes, and if the not the we're also gonna prevent double jumping by checking for not key up arrow pressed before. So, let's start. Whatever. 
Oh yeah, that's stupid of me. Whatever, we'll fix it later. We could also use jump in here. If jump equals zero, then look. And we could also test it by seeing if we are touching the platform. There, perfect. Wee! Now we just duplicate it. And if the, we can get rid of, oops. What? What? We get rid of this and set speed x to zero or one or two and set we don't need these jumps <clears throat> repeat until the key is not pressed and change camera x by speed x and before that change speed x by one and then just do left arrow and left arrow we are going back so we will be needing one Great. So next we can set camera X to zero, speed X to zero, and speed Y to zero. So platform forever loop, we can go to X camera X and Y zero and now we can move left and right and after this we can make it extra fancy set speed X to speed X times 0 0.9 whoops he fell down haha <laughs> we tree tree Ooh. <laughs> so, set speed x to speed x times 0 0.9, <clears throat> and you can repeat until speed x is 0, and then just change camera x by speed x. Ooh. Ha <laughs> Stop the script. Oh, what does stop the script? What happens? Never mind. Okay, but you don't need that or it might not work even. But whatever. Moving on. Just duplicate it a bit to get more movement, like left and right arrows. Right arrow is negative 1 and negative 2, so we now have right and left arrow key movements. Whoa, it looks a bit wonky here, but... We will fix it later, so bye-bye, peoples.